Hello and welcome to the next part of the XCAM tutorial video and today I want to tell you more about the detection distance and then we go on with the favorites so have fun and here we go okay before we start with um, the favorites I want to tell you how you can change the detection distance and maybe you remember you can find the detection distance here down below at this point here and the default detection distance is 1.5 but what means that detection distance? To show you more about this value I have first to load a project the tutorial project and here you can see some different objects and I mean not the different object types I mean more the different object size and even if you try to set the focus to any very small object or any very large object then sometimes it's not possible or maybe very difficult to set the focus so, for example, if I try to set the focus to this object here, then it's a little bit hard to find the right point. Also, with this object here, it's not possible. Oh, okay, it's it's hard. So that means the larger the object is, the more difficult it is to set the focus. Here it works. Oh, it's a little bit difficult, but it's okay. And with these objects here, it's it's fine. Also with these smaller objects here. But if these objects are placed close together then it's sometimes also a little bit tricky to set the focus to the right object and if the objects are very small like these objects here then you know have a look at the mouse pointer and have a look at the current object that has the focus it's not really good and you can change in this behavior by changing the detection distance and to change the detection distance press one of the number keys on your keyboard and that means for each number key a different um, detection distance value is saved so for example if you press the number key one then you will use the uh, smallest detection distance and if you press um, the zero number key then you will use the largest detection distance and to set the detection distance back to the default value then press 5 and you know between the number key 1 and 0 you have different values available and you have to try which detection distance is the best one depending on the situation of course and as soon as you press one of these number keys you will see the change here down below at this point so for example if I press 7 then you can see I have now the detection distance 4 in use so I'll press 5 to set the detection distance back to default and now I'm able to detect any object so for example if I try to pre-select some of these very small objects here then first I have to press the number key oh, I will try the number key 2 and I think mm, this will work and it works pre-select some objects and as you can see it's it's okay 
And now I will try to detect one of these large objects here. And I think I will press the number key 8 to detect in these buildings here. And it works also. And this setting will also work with um, these large stones, I think. But um, there is basically the problem if you have placed an object into the ground. Like um, this object here. Then it's sometimes difficult to find the right point. It works, but it's it's hard to find the point. And also if you select this stone and now you set this stone to this position, then you are not able anymore to set the focus to this object. It's too deep in the ground. But you know, you can try to use a frame selection get the object and also the brush selection should work yes and don't forget to set the detection distance back to the default value by pressing the number key 5 because this value works with most of the objects Ok, and now we have a closer look to the favorites. And to make the favorite list visible, you have to press this button here. And then you see the overview of all the available and saved favorite lists. And that means you can create your own object type collection with all the object types you want to use together and you don't have to search always within the XCAM object library. So that makes the work with the XCAM much easier. To load all object types from a favorite list simply double left click the respective list entry. So for example if I want to open the walls favorite then double left click the entry and now you can see the whole content, all the object types within this favorite. And you always see which favorite is currently loaded. So here in the top of this window. And to go back to the overview of the favorites, simply right click this list. And then you switch back to the overview. That's simple. And then you can um, select any other favorite. So for example sidewalks. Double left click and you can see all the object types within this favorite. And also here you can see the blue marked list entries and maybe you remember this feature. So these list entries shows you object types with user-defined data like the user-defined copy distance or the rotation axis. OK, right click the list to go back to the overview. A nice feature with these favorites is uh, that you can save one object type in several favorite lists. Because normally you can find the object types only at one position within the whole object library. A simple example for a favorite is maybe in this one here, market. So double left click. And for this favorite, I have searched the whole object library first for objects to create a market. And then I have all the object types together and can start with the work. These favorite lists work in the same way as all these XCAM library lists. So that means as soon as you select any list entry here, then a temporary object is created. And you can also use the arrow keys to scroll up and scroll down within the list. And that means as long as this favorite list is visible, you scroll within this list and if you hide the favorite list and you have any 
library list activated here on the left side, then you scroll up and down within this list. Turn the favorite on, and then you could scroll again within the favorite list. If you want to create a new favorite, then first switch back to the overview, right click the list, press space to deselect the temporary object, and now press this button here, create a new favorite list. And then you can enter a name for the new favorite. Tutorial. Hit OK. And now the tutorial favorite is automatically selected and active. And if you open the favorite, then you can see the list is empty because uh, there is no object currently saved within the favorite. So right click, select, and now you can add some object types. There are different possibilities to save different object types into the current selected favorite list. And the first one is simple by select any object type from the XCAM library list and then press the key F, F like favorite. And then I see it's not possible because I've forgotten to load the empty favorite. So first you have to double left click the new favorite to see the empty list. And now it should work. So select the object, press F, and now you can see this object type is now part of the new favorite. And then you can go on with the next object type, press F, press F, press F, and now you have four different object types saved within the new favorite. The next possibility is to add all the objects from the current selected uh, library list in one step into the new favorite. And to activate this function, press and hold down the left shift key and then press F. And then you can see all the objects from this list are now also part of this favorite. The next possibility is to add any object type from a uh, object selection. So for example if you select these objects here and then you press F then all the object types from this selection are now part of the current favorite. And remember this function is also only available if the favorite window is visible and you have loaded a favorite. And of course there is also a button available to add a single object type to the favorite list, so press this button. If you want to delete any single object type from the favorite list, then simply select the respective list entry and then press this button and then you can delete in this object type from the current selected uh, favorite list. Um, the XCAM will ask you if you really want to delete this object type and then the object is deleted from the list. If you want to delete the whole content from the favorite then that's also possible. Simply let the first list entry selected because then it's no object type selected and then press this button. And then the XCAM knows that you want to delete all objects. Delete object list from this favorite. Press OK and then the list is empty but then the favorite is still valid. And you can start to add uh, new objects. Shift F and so on. If you really want to delete the favorite including the favorite file then you go back to the overview by right click the list, select the favorite and then press D. And that means you can now delete the favorite including the favorite file.
So press this button and then hit OK and then the whole favorite is deleted and not any more available uh, within this overview list. But now we create this favorite again. Because there is another nice, very nice function to add single objects to the current selected favorite list. So double left click this new favorite to load the empty object list and then it's easy. Set the focus to any object you can see. So maybe this and then press F and the object type is now part of the new favorite. Press F, press F, press F, press F, press F, and so on. So it's very easy. And now you know all these objects are now part of your new favorite. And remember if you have some troubles to set the focus to any object then try to use a different detection distance. And in this connection there is a small function available to activate or deactivate the detection of already imported objects. So here on the right side you can find this switch and that means detecting map objects on off. And if you have uh, deactivated this function then you are not able to detect any um, already imported object. So then you are only able to detect your objects from your projects. So you have to turn this function on and then you are able to detect also these objects. But please note if any object is not part of the XCAM library you cannot add this object to any favorite list. So that's important to know.